Oh my goodness. It was worth the wait, I'll tell you that much. I remember constantly seeing the announcements on the Free Guys social being like, dang it, they're pushing it again. But they know what they're doing. So worth the wait. It's so good to like be with some different crowd and see smiling faces. And uh, I've seen the movie once, I can't wait to see it again. That's how you know it's a good one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's to love about it. I'm a little biased, but I mean, it's a little bit of everything. We've got comedy, it's adventure, it's action, it's a little romance. Um, I mean, it's for the family. Everyone should watch it. So if you're looking for something to do, or if you're booked and busy, I'm telling you, find time. It's a good one. All right. Okay, ready? Ethan, you were ready for a little bit? Okay. I think. I would say, when I watch this film, it's it's like more than what meets the eye. I think that everybody's going to interpret it a little bit different. Um, when Guy discovers the world outside of the glasses, like for me I see everything is more than what meets the eye. Like it's about perspective and his relationship with Buddy and you know how Buddy views the same world that Guy's living in, um, but how if you just trust there's so many beautiful things out there, so it's not gonna make sense to a lot of you until you see it, so just go watch it, baby. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing better than having love and support like surrounding any project that's somewhere works on. And uh, for me, this was really exciting. Um, I constantly am thanking Sean and Ryan for taking a chance on me. I'm very new into the acting world, and I mean, this, this film has hit it out the park. I am so excited for the world to see it. And being so new in my acting career, I just feel so lucky to have two people like Ryan and Sean directing me and having patience with me and believing in me and um, I mean they know what they're doing and I just I, I can't say enough how grateful I feel to uh, have this opportunity and, and be here to, to be talking. Uh, it feels great to have Free Guy actually come to movie theaters now. Even being on this red carpet is surreal. Um, I haven't been at a premiere in a long time now that I'm thinking about it. And for it to be for Free Guy it's a big deal. It's a movie we all have fun doing. Um, Man, it's a big movie, man. With it's romance, it's comedy, it's so much heart in it, it's action, and we got some crazy cameos. Not just people. You expect some random, really dope cameos in this movie. What makes it an awesome, awesome summer movie? Not just the special effects, but like you know everything I just named. It has all these different genres of movie in one. It's kind of crazy, to be honest with you. I don't know how they got away with doing it, but it's there, and it's big. And it's loud, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, look, I know we play one song throughout the movie, really, but it's still worth it. Mariah Carey, shout out to you, <laughs> and Fantasy. We have two versions of the song in this movie. It's very interesting. But it's just a big summer movie because it's just a big movie. It's Brian Reynolds, too, come on. Honestly, and I mentioned this before, it, it's, it's a lot of little nuggets in here, man, of messages about humanity and how, especially with, the, with everything going on now, I know we pushed this movie a few times, but now it arcally feels like the right time for people to see this. People are gonna like be happy when they leave the movie theater, and I think inspired by Guy and Buddy and everybody else in this film. Um, one of the I, I think key messages is, and for me really that I love is that, and it's I guess it's a part of the video game world too, where like every time Guy dies, he gets right back up and try again the next day. So I believe that message is as long as you're alive and as long as you can function, as long as you can get up, you can try to do something dope every single day. You can try to get better every day. And God does that. It's a whole montage of that that I think is beautiful. So yeah, as long as you get up, go do what you dream of doing and try every day. Oh, I mean, it's I, it's I think it's more timely now than it ever was. You know, it's, uh, the movie is in and of itself just a fastball of joy, and it's you know it's so exciting to be a part of a movie that is non-IP, not a comic book movie, not really based on anything other than an original idea. And other kinds of movies that I went to as a kid, and I, I my hats off to Disney and 20th Century for taking the time and investing in a new concept, uh, especially a big one like this, which is a big swing, and the early reactions have been incredible. So. I couldn't, we could not be happier. We're so thrilled. Well, it's, you know, it's like a, I remember when I saw Back to the Future as a kid. It was like one of those movies that just like immersed you in a world and blew your mind. And that's what this film does. It really takes you somewhere else and it leaves you walking out of the theater with a huge grin on your face. And I, I just kind of miss that feeling, you know. There's, uh, 
doesn't happen as often as I think we'd like, and particularly over the last, you know, 16, 17 months, it's been pretty crazy. So uh, I'm really excited for audiences to, to get a chance to go and enjoy this. Well, I mean, the movie has a lot of a lot of themes that I think it resonate with people. Um, for me, it's a little bit about, you know, when we band together and come out of the shadows, just, you can do anything if, you, if you're, you know, unified agents of change and like that's sort of what this movie is about is that people who are in the background getting to step into the light and make a difference you know and I think that that really particularly in the society we're living right now is pretty resonant.